The Latinx community's contributions to this country have been immeasurable. And with one in four Americans being Latinx by 2050, we're essential not only to its present, but to its future. That's what drives our work at the Hispanic Heritage Foundation. By supporting education and creating opportunities, preparing our workforce, impacting our communities and spurring social justice, and collaborating with partners and policymakers to ensure our voices are heard from the border to Capitol Hill, we're making a value proposition to the United States. We believe in our community and our community leads us. And our Latinx culture with all its beautiful complexities is an American culture. Because we are America. We always have been, we always will be. My name is Antonio Tijerino, and I'm coming to you all from the Media Lab at La Cosecha Latin Market here in Washington, D.C. Welcome to the 24th Regional Hispanic Heritage Youth Awards. Up to 30,000 application accounts were created this year for the Youth Awards from all 50 states plus Puerto Rico and Washington, D.C., and you are among the 300 selected. It's a privilege to welcome you to this celebration, but also to make a call to action for our community and our nation's best chance at moving forward, all of you. At the Hispanic Heritage Foundation, the Latino community leads us, it's not the other way around. And all of you lead our community. And you lead not just tomorrow, but right now, because we can't afford to wait. The Youth Awards are just one part of HHF's year-round mission. We do a whole lot more. For example, we're introducing and teaching 100,000 students to code through our Code as a Second Language program. Along with our friends at Minecraft, we created the first ever Latinx Minecraft game, Latin Explorers, and we made it available for free. And it's going to be played by 30 million kids around the world in 30 different languages, where Latinos will be seen as problem solvers. Our Fritanga podcast, which we record right here in this studio, brings together members of our community from different backgrounds for a monthly convening to find comfort, connection, inspiration, and of course, action. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts to Fritanga. We work with immigrants as they journey from our home countries to our borders and to our communities. We also fight racism, homophobia, sexism, religious hate, and all forms of bigotry. We promote fairness, equity, and opportunity for our community and beyond our community in solidarity and our annual Hispanic Heritage Awards television program on PBS brought compelling stories of Latino icons and trailblazers to millions of homes to remind America that Latino stories are American stories. And your stories are American stories. So let's tell them. Our role is to support you and maximize your impact so all of you will be invited to our Loft Network or our Latinos on Fast Track to connect to resources, opportunities, and to 24 years of past applicants and youth awardees like all of you. Through Loft, we stay connected with you through college and into your careers and connect you back into the community that we've been able to build. And all of you will have the opportunity to join our Loft Leadership Institute over the summer, which we'll hear more about later. So visit hispanicheritage.org to see how you can get involved, but also to give us guidance as we continue to adapt to the needs and vision of our community. Currently, we have five past youth awardees as board members, and our chair is a past youth awardee from 2001, which means we mean it when we say we want to stay in touch and that we need your guidance and you're part of a familia. We are counting on all of you to be leaders of today, not tomorrow, as I said earlier. And congratulations to all of you as recipients and felicidades to your families, teachers, mentors, and friends who share in this great honor tonight. So welcome to the Hispanic Heritage Foundation Familia. And now, please welcome our host for the evening, our good friend and star of Hulu's Love, Victor, Michael Simino. Thank you, Antonio. My name is Michael Simino, and it's my pleasure to host the 24th Hispanic Heritage Youth Awards. I had the opportunity to be part of HHF's annual Hispanic Heritage Celebration at the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts in Washington, D.C. this past September, and I'm excited to be back to honor a new class of outstanding young Latino leaders who are making an impact in their communities and excelling in their academics. So, to learn more about HHF, please visit www.hispanicheritage.org and follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, and tag us using the hashtag YA24. 
Tonight, you'll get to meet our amazing bronze, silver, and gold recipients from all 10 award categories. Their selection means that they'll receive a grant to help them further their education, help fund a community-based project, or even launch a small business. And finally, all of tonight's recipients are in the running to receive a National Youth Award. So, let's get this party started. Tonight, we celebrate recipients from the Teal region. Colorado, Idaho, Kansas, Montana, Nebraska, North Dakota, Oregon, South Dakota, Utah, Washington, and Wyoming. Hola, my name is Millie Pineda. I'm the Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion at Dutch Bros. I want to say how stoked we are about being the sponsor of the Business and Entrepreneurship category for the 2022 Hispanic Youth Awards. We want to start off by saying how proud we are of you in your success and your passions and watching your dreams come true. Part of our Dutch creed reads to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are. And again, we are so proud of you and are looking forward to seeing what you do in our communities. Now, I have the honor to introduce our bronze, silver, and gold recipients. Let's hear a little bit about them and how amazing and talented they are. Hello, my name is Marilyn de Jesus Martinez from Portland, Oregon. I go to De La Salle North Catholic High School. I hope to attend University of Oregon and major in architecture. I am of Mexican descent and I am the bronze recipient of the business and entrepreneurship category. One of my proudest accomplishments in business and entrepreneurship has been when my team and I won first place both years we participated in a weekend entrepreneurship camp. Thank you. Hello, I am Ella Irving from Tigard, Oregon, and I go to Mountainside High School. I hope to attend Oregon State University and major in business administration. I am of Filipino descent, and I am the silver recipient for the business and entrepreneurship category. My biggest achievement in business and entrepreneurship has been the start of my own business, where I sew and upcycle secondhand clothing and redesign the pieces to fit today's target market in youth fashion. I'm responsible for financing, marketing, photography, and overall organization for my platform. And I'm proud to say I have over a thousand subscribers and have made over 600 sales in the last two years. Thank you. Hello, I am Melanie Brousseau and I am from Fountain, Colorado, and I go to Fountain for Carson High School. I hope to attend Pennsylvania State University or Colorado State University and major in business administration. I am of Mexican descent and I am the gold recipient of the business and entrepreneurship category. One of my proudest accomplishments in business and entrepreneurship has been being Colorado DECA State Champion in 2021 and then placing six internationally for DECA in 2022. On behalf of all the recipients, thank you Dutch Bros Coffee for sponsoring our category. I want to also thank my DECA advisor, Michael Patty, and my parents, Linda and Clara Brousseau. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ed Garsoides, and I'm in the North America Vice President Human Resource for Colgate Palmolive. We're proud to sponsor the Community Service category because Colgate believes that everyone deserves a future worth smiling about, which is why we're proud of our ongoing partnership with the Hispanic Heritage Foundation and the impact this program has had on grant recipients and their communities. I'm also proud to introduce the Bronze, Silver, and Gold Youth Award recipients. Let's learn more about these talented young people. Hello, I am Arely Lika from Hood River, Oregon. I go to Hood River Valley High School. I hope to attend University of Oregon and major in business. I, have, I am of Mexican descent and I'm the bronze recipient for the community service category. One of my proudest accomplishments in community service has been giving back to my community since I was 15 years old by, by being part of various community clubs and helping out my local fish food bank which is a nonprofit organization that provides food for all people in need thank you hello my name is alana schmalchi lugo and i'm from olathe kansas i attend olathe northwest high school and i hope to attend the university of kansas or kansas state university to major in electrical engineering i am of puerto rican descent and am the silver recipient of the community service category um, 
One of my most proud accomplishments in community service has been leading a team on my robotics team um, responsible for initiatives-based community impact. So we do things such as hosting an annual STEM workshop for girls um, in our district, uh, working with awareness of mental health and safety practices, and um, hosting an annual Lego drive for kids in need. Thank you. Hello, I'm Fatima Garnica Scamilla from Seattle, Washington, and I go to Chief South International High School. I hope to attend University of Washington or UCLA and major in business administration. I'm of Mexican descent and I'm the gold recipient of the Community Service Award category. One of my proudest achievements in community service has been that I have created a podcast dedicated to the Latino community called La Voz del Duwamish, where I share challenges and barriers that the Latino community faces, as well as resources to help overcome those challenges. And my motto is, Si se puede. On behalf of all of the recipients, thank you Colgate Palmola for sponsoring our category. I would also like to thank Dr. Monica for being such an amazing mentor to me and of course my parents for always showing me that hard work pays off and for always believing in me and supporting me in my dreams. Thank you. I'm Laura Nieto and I have the privilege of serving as the Director of Community Outreach at Southwest Airlines. We're proud to be the official airline of the Youth Awards and the Hispanic Heritage Foundation. The Youth Awards are a time to celebrate and it is an honor to join the Hispanic Heritage Foundation in presenting these awards to Hispanic high school seniors demonstrating excellence in the education category. At Southwest Airlines, we believe community is more than a place. It's at the heart of what brings us together. And our community grows stronger when we invest in education in ways that empower and create opportunities for the next generation to soar to new heights. Congratulations to you. You are an impressive group of individuals who have already accomplished so much. You inspire us with your dedication and service to educating others. And we look forward to seeing what you'll do next. And we'll be cheering you on as you continue to make a difference in your neighborhoods, your communities, and making our world a better place. So let's introduce the bronze, silver, and gold Youth Award recipients and learn more about these talented young people. Hello, I am Lorena Garza from Othello, Washington, and I go to Othello High School. I hope to attend University of Nevada, Las Vegas, or Washington State University and major in education. I am of Mexican descent and I am the bronze recipient of the education category. One of my proudest accomplishments in education has been being selected to become a teacher's assistant for the preschoolers in my school district. Thank you. Hello, I am Paula Maleva from Burlingame, Kansas, and I go to Burlingame High School. I hope to attend Emporia State University and major into elementary education. I am of Mexican descent and I am the silver recipient of the education category. One of my proudest accomplishments in education has been able to be a teacher's aide for my first graders. Every time they see me, they have one of the biggest smiles on their faces. Some of them give me the biggest hugs and others yell my name in excitement. All my first graders that I work with are so smart. I cannot wait to see how much they will learn over the years. Thank you so much for choosing me for this scholarship. Hi, my name is Rayna Ortiz and I go to South High School here in Denver, Colorado. My hope is to be able to attend the University of Denver and major in public policy. I'm the gold recipient in the education category. One of my proudest achievements in education has been my involvement with Rising Ravens, which is my school's tutoring program that is meant to help students of color, uh, immigrant students, English learners, or anyone that's struggling with higher level classes, such as AP honors and IB classes. Our hope is that we'll be able to support them and to give them the tools and resources they need to grow in those classes and to grow academically. It's truly been my honor to be able to serve my community in this way. I'd like to give a big thanks to Southwest Airlines as they have sponsored my category and I'd also like to thank everyone else that's helped me thus far. Whether it's a changing climate, a global pandemic, or complex global logistics, we've seen how the world can change in an instant. But Latinos are no strangers to persevering. And these young people we're honoring tonight are the vanguard of engineers who are facing these challenges head on and helping guide us all into a brighter future. So let's learn more about our bronze, silver, and gold recipients for the engineering category. Hello, I am Homer Sanchez from Lake Green, Colorado, and I go to the SST College in High School. I plan to attend the University of Southern California or Harvard College and major in mechanical engineering. 
I am a make skin descent, and I am the bronze recipient for the engineering category. One of my proudest accomplishments in engineering has been my participation in multiple engineering summer programs, such as the BPR Frontiers, where I majored in aerospace and learned all about airplanes, and also at Summit at the Coral School of Mines, where I learned about the engineering process and how to apply it. Hello, my name is Alejandra Vasquez. I'm from Denver, Colorado. I'm going to George Washington High School, and I hope to attend the School of Colorado Mines or CU Boulder. I am a major in computer science, and I'm from Venezuela Desert, and I am the silver recipient of the engineering category. One of my proudest achievements in engineering has been participating with my robotics teams on the FTC competition and obtained the second place on the qualifier tournament. Thank you. Hello. I am Ignacio Arturo Juveleva from Littleton, Colorado, and I attend Hans Ranch High School. I'm hoping to attend the California Institute of Technology or the Colorado School of Mines in order to pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. I'm of Chilean descent and am the gold recipient of the engineering category. My proudest accomplishment in engineering has been the design and development of a set of wraps that used air mattresses in order to float. I've also worked on a project that designed a sauna using a, a charcoal powered grill. On behalf of all the recipients, I would like to thank the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for sponsoring our category. I would also like to thank my mom for inspiring me to pursue engineering as a career and continue developing my problem solving skills. Thank you. As Antonio mentioned earlier, all of tonight's recipients are also invited to join HHF's LOF network. As part of that, they will also be invited to join the LOF Leadership Institute, a collective of Latino youth focused on leadership, workforce, community, social impact, and culture in partnership with Trinity University. LOF Institute fellows are connected with current and past youth awardees, sponsors, and other members of HHF's professional network to build invaluable social and professional capital and prepare them for success with the focus on innovative leadership. This past September, in connection with HHF's 35th Hispanic Heritage Award celebration, a group of Loft Institute fellows were invited to an open space summit in Washington, D.C., where, in addition to a special visit to the White House, the fellows were also asked to set the agenda and share their priorities with HHF, policy leaders, and members of HHF's Loft network. Let's take a peek at the Loft Leadership Institute in action. Antonio Digadino, University of Maryland, go Terps, Tony Terrapin. <laughs> and so it's important for you all to be connected to each other. That's why we wanted to bring you guys here together. If you want to know what the agenda is for the afternoon, look over there where Kevin is. There's nothing. You're about to create the agenda, right? And I want to open the room to discuss professional growth and how you can use your adversity. How can we make our value shown? How can we talk about how we belong here? How our representation is needed? Being with like an agenda of understanding rather than trying to convince another person that you're right. Like you're... We've also invited some friends, some that you saw and met virtually. Some other friends in town who are going to be here. So as they get here, we'll make sure you get connected to them so that you can kind of just keep extending your professional network. But we also have you guys to spend that For more information about the upcoming Loft Leadership Institute events, keep an eye out in your email. Now, to introduce the Green Sustainability category, please welcome Vice President of Stakeholder and Community Engagement for the Coca-Cola Company, Alba castillo Balin. Hello, I am Alba castillo Balin, Vice President of Stakeholder and Community Management at the Coca-Cola Company. We are proud to sponsor the Hispanic Heritage Youth Award, and particularly the Green Sustainability category because each one of us has the power to make a difference and our company has a long history of investing in programs that improve life. We make brands and products that people love while building a more sustainable future for our communities and the planet. And we do all of this while staying true to our purpose to refresh the world and make a difference. Today, 
I'm also proud to introduce the bronze, silver, and gold youth award recipients. Let's learn more about these talented young people. Hello, I'm Alexa Ferreira Peterson. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, and I go to Concordia Junior Senior High School. I want to attend the University of Nebraska Lincoln and study in environmental studies. And I'm of Peruvian descent, and I am the bronze recipient of the green sustainability category. One of my accomplishments in sustainability is being able to regulate the population of feral cat colonies in my city of Omaha, and through that, I've been able to help the environment and all the animals. Hello, I am Lily Figueroa from Mancus, Colorado, and I go to Mancus High School. I hope to attend Colorado State University and major in natural resources tourism. I am of Puerto Rican descent and am the silver recipient of the green sustainability category. My proudest accomplishment in green sustainability has been attending the International Science and Engineering Fair for my research surrounding the importance of bioindicator species, as well as working with the Mancus Conservation District to test for eDNA in rural aquatic ecosystems. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mia Perales and I go to Omaha South High Mangot School. I plan to attend Oregon University where I hope to study environmental engineering and political science. I'm of Hispanic descent and I'm a gold recipient of the green sustainability category. My proudest accomplishment in sustainability has been getting composting started at my school, a school of over 3,000 students and faculty, and leading a climate strike in my community. On behalf of all recipients, I would like to say thank you to Coca-Cola for sponsoring our category. I would also like to thank my friends and family members and teachers for pushing me in everything that I do and supporting me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Melissa Piovieg, and I'm a senior consultant for the CVS Health Workforce Initiatives team and have dedicated much of my life immersed in Latin American culture. I've learned firsthand how dedicated, hardworking, and resilient these individuals are. I've also spent many years working with young adults, being a guide on their pathway to success. It's my absolute honor and privilege to present you these three individuals that I know will bring so much talent, creativity, and life to our ever-changing workforce. CVS Health is proud to support the healthcare and science category of the Youth Awards because of the incredible commitment made by each of the recipients, which they've displayed in their classroom and in their community. Such passion aligns wonderfully with the purpose of our organization, bringing our heart to every moment of your health. I'm proud to introduce the bronze, silver, and gold youth award recipients. Let's learn more about these talented young people. Hello, I am Emiliano Gonzalez Serrano, and I am from Greeley, Colorado, and I go to University Schools High School. I hope to attend Colorado College or the University of Colorado Boulder and major in biochemistry. I am of Mexican descent, and I am a bronze recipient for the healthcare and science category. My proudest accomplishment in healthcare or science has been interning at a lab where we measured the effects of snake venom on cancer cells. Thank you. Hi, my name is Diana Zarate. I'm from Logan, Utah, and I go to Logan High School. I hope to attend the University of Utah this fall and major in nursing. I am a Mexican descendant and I am the silver recipient for the healthcare and science category. One of my proudest accomplishments in healthcare and science has been getting my certified nursing assistant license. With this, I am able to provide direct care to patients in settings like hospitals, nursing homes, and in home care. Thank you. Hello, I am Alexis Korzan from Mitchell, South Dakota, and I go to Mitchell High School. I plan to attend Princeton University and major in biology. I am of Filipino descent and I am the gold recipient of the healthcare and science category. One of my proudest accomplishments in healthcare and science has been researching the natural phenomenon of horizontal gene transfer. I created a website, www.morelifegenomics.com dedicated to my research hypothesis. And I filed a patent application ANKH22 in the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Thank you. I'm Daniel Tapia, Manager of Corporate and External Affairs at NBC Universal Telemundo Enterprises. On behalf of Comcast, NBC Universal, and Telemundo, 
We are proud to sponsor the media and entertainment category as a world-class media company leading the industry in the production and distribution of high-quality Spanish language content to U.S. Hispanics. We believe in empowering the next generation of Latino leaders and storytellers. Through our award-winning Corporate Social Responsibility Initiative, El Poder en Ti, we enable our community to take positive actions in critical areas of personal growth, including health, finance, civic engagement, and of course, education. As media and entertainment continue to evolve, you will all play an instrumental role in the future of our industry. It is my honor to introduce this year's bronze, silver, and gold youth award recipients. I wanna congratulate you all on your achievements and wish you the best as you continue on this exciting journey. Hello, I am Dana Renivar from Inglewood, Colorado, and I go to Inglewood High School. I really hope to attend the University of Northern Colorado and I also have the Metropolitan State University of Denver in mind. I really like to major in art teaching K-12. I am of Mexican descent and I am the bronze recipient of the media and entertainment category. One of my proudest accomplishments in the media and entertainment category has been receiving seven recognitions on three of my paintings. Hello, I am Daniel Winnett from Kena, Idaho, and I go to Kena High School. I hope to attend Boise State University or the University of Idaho and major in music performance. I am of Mexican descent and I am the silver recipient of the media and entertainment category. One of my proudest achievements in media and entertainment has been playing in the Boise Philharmonic Youth Orchestra for my junior and senior years. Making it into a symphonic orchestra has been my proudest achievement because of the hard work I put into my audition and preparing for my concerts. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nicole hernandez Abud. I am from Hillsboro, Oregon, and I go to Westview High School. I hope to attend the University of Portland and double major in English and Psychology with a minor in Creative Writing. I am of Mexican descent, and I am the gold recipient of the Media and Entertainment category. One of my proudest achievements in Media and Entertainment has been being a double finalist at the 2022 State Championships for Speech and Debate, and using that kind of audience and my voice to convey the messages that I believe in which is the same purpose of the academic journal that I started in my high school, The Research Pilot, in which we showcase the writing abilities and current events of other students. On behalf of all the recipients, I want to thank Comcast, NBC Universal, and Telemundo for sponsoring our category. I also want to thank my family who has supported me so much and who I love the most, and my teachers who have believed in me. Thank you. So, we want to take a moment to thank our generous sponsors that made this celebration possible. We believe in all of tonight's recipients, and so do our partners, including our presenting sponsors. Coca-Cola, Colgate Palm Olive, Comcast NBC Universal Telemundo, CVS Health, Dutch Bros Coffee, The NFL, Nike, Southwest Airlines, and T-Mobile. We also want to thank our partners, American Federation of Teachers, Capital Wire, Crowell Mooring, Estiempo, MasterCard, Freddie Mac, Wells Fargo, and Teach for America. Thank you again to all of our sponsors. Now to present the Public Service and Social Justice category, please welcome Chief Public Policy and Social Impact Officer of Nike and the President of Nike Foundation, Jorge Casimiro. Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Jorge Casimiro, and I'm Nike's Chief Public Policy and Social Impact Officer, and I also get to serve as President of the Nike Foundation. You know, across Nike, Converse, and Jordan, we're all proud supporters of the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for the incredible work that you do every single day to inspire, educate, and connect Latina and Latino leaders in the classroom, in our communities, and beyond. We believe in the power of people, the power of people to move the world forward and to break barriers in the areas where we need change the most. And as the world becomes increasingly more diverse, we're working to help make a world that is far more equitable and inclusive, a place where we can celebrate our diverse communities. We're honored to sponsor the social justice category of this year's Youth Awards. And we stand in awe of all that this year's honorees are doing to drive social justice in their schools and in their communities. Thank you to everyone recognized this evening for helping to make important changes and to the Hispanic Heritage Foundation for educating and lifting up today's 
not just social justice leaders, but today's leaders. And now I'm honored to also introduce the bronze, silver, and gold Youth Award recipients. Let's learn more about these talented young people. Hello, I'm Emma Gilmore from Bridge, Washington, and I go to Granger High School. I hope to attend the University of Washington and major in psychology. I am of Mexican descent and I am the bronze recipient in the public service and social justice category. One of my proudest achievements in public service and social justice was when I got the opportunity to speak with local legislators about ways we can use our legislative system and better funding to help our minority communities and specifically our Hispanic communities. Thank you. Hello, I'm Luke Martinez from Omaha, Nebraska, and I go to Creighton Preparatory School. I hope to attend Xavier University and major in public health. I am of Guatemalan descent, and I am the silver recipient of the public service and social justice category. Some of my proudest accomplishments in public service and social justice have been representing my school at the Ignatian Family Teaching for Justice in Washington, DC, as well as participating on an immersion trip in solidarity with the Lakota tribe of South Dakota. Thank you. Hello, I am Osvaldo Garcia Barron from Boulder, Colorado, and I currently attend Boulder High School. I am unsure on what institution I'd like to attend to pursue our education, but I would like to major in political science. I am of Mexican descent, and I am the gold recipient for the public service and social justice category. One of my proudest accomplishments in, proud in public service and social justice has been restoring my school's Latino student organization after a drastic decrease in membership due to the COVID-19 pandemic. As president of this organization, I have engaged in many meaningful efforts. For instance, I have coordinated projects that embrace Latinx culture, organized community service activities, participated in social justice and educational equity efforts, and most notably, I have forged an inclusive environment where Latinos can openly communicate with peers and staff about our educational and socioeconomic hardships. On behalf of all of the recipients, thank you, Nike, for sponsoring our category. I would also like to thank my beloved family, organizations such as Access Opportunity and LIDA, and all those individuals that supported me throughout my educational journey. Thank you. Hello, my name is Javier Farfan, and I'm the cultural strategist for the National Football League. We are proud to partner with the Hispanic Heritage Foundation and sponsor the sports and fitness category. The NFL is committed to supporting and celebrating the next generation of Latino youth and this year awardees exemplify what the Por La Cultura campaign is all about. The vibrancy, commonalities, and differences that comprise our fan base. We want to shine a spotlight on all the future leaders in all aspects of their life, excelling academically, athletically, and in the community. Their success and determinations to achieve more deserves to be celebrated, and the NFL is honored to do so for the second year through the Hispanic Heritage Foundation Youth Awards. I'm proud to introduce the bronze, silver, and gold youth awardees. Let's learn more about these talented young people. Hi, I am Beja Lopez from Cobo, Colorado. I go to Centennial High School and I plan on attending CSU Fort Collins and majoring in sports medicine. I am of Mexican descent and I am the bronze recipient for the sports and fitness category. My proudest achievement would be receiving the Pin It Forward Award twice at cheer camp. Hello, I am Matthew Wantalock and I'm from Powell, Wyoming. I go to Powell High School. I hope to attend Grand Canyon University and major in athletic training. I'm of Mexican descent and I am the silver recipient of the sport and fitness category. One of my proudest accomplishments in sports and fitness is when I was named captain of my JV soccer team during my sophomore year of high school. Our varsity team ended up winning state and kept a winning streak going of 46 games. Thank you. Hello, I'm Alexander Garcia Silver from Coos Bay, Oregon, and I go to Marshall High School. I hope to attend BYU or Gonzaga University and major in exercise science while following a pre-health careers path. I'm of Colombian descent and I'm the gold recipient of the sports and fitness category. Some of my proudest accomplishments in sports and fitness have been my two state titles in cross country and 4A state record, competing for Colombia and winning the U18 3K national record, breaking the Colombian U18 5K record, and my all-American finish at Nike Cross Nationals. 
On behalf of all recipients, thank you NFL for sponsoring our category and I would like to thank my parents Melinda Silver and Moises Garcia for their constant support and love, my coach Steve Delgado for his training and expert advice, and God for the talents he has given me. And now to present our final category, the technology category, please welcome Principal Manager of Government Affairs for T-Mobile, Joanna diaz Sofer. Hello, I'm Joanna diaz Sofer, Principal Manager of Government and External Affairs at T-Mobile. I'm thrilled to join the Hispanic Heritage Foundation's 24th Annual Youth Award Ceremonies. T-Mobile is proud to support the Foundation's efforts to honor Latino high school seniors who are excelling in the classroom and community. Though you're all just starting out, you've done incredible work already and contributed to excellence in a subject close to our hearts at T-Mobile, technology. T-Mobile is committed to help close the homework gap, which is why we've launched Project 10 Million, making 10 million mobile hotspots available to school districts and students. Additionally, we've pledged over $30 million for community initiatives that support technology, education, and workforce training. These initiatives are designed to help bright young people like all of you along the path for our shared tech future. You are the inventors, engineers, startup founders, and CEOs of tomorrow. Thank you, Hispanic Heritage Foundation, for the opportunity to participate in today's event. Now we are proud to introduce the bronze, silver, and gold Youth Award recipients. Congratulations. Hello, I am Kimberly Sosa and I am from Basalt, Colorado and go to Basalt High School. I hope to attend the Colorado School of Mines or the University of Washington and major in computer science or cybersecurity. I am of Salvadorian descent and I am the bronze recipient in the technology category. My proudest accomplishment in technology has been creating a current events app for a congressional app challenge that was actually congressionally recognized. Thank you. Hello, I am Jaron Hunt from Johnstown, Colorado, and I go to Roosevelt High School. I hope to attend the University of Arizona and major in chemical engineering. I'm of Mexican descent and am the silver recipient of the technology category. One of my proudest accomplishments in technology was leading a team in designing, building, and placing monofilament recycling bins at my local reservoir. These bins will keep non-biodegradable fishing lines from entangling wildlife and polluting our waterways. I'm honored to be chosen for this award. Thank you. Hello, I'm Eric Clausen. I'm from Ordine, Washington, and I go to Ordine High School. I hope to attend the University of Washington and to major in computer science. I am of Filipino descent, and I am a gold recipient in the technology category. One of my proudest achievements in technology has been winning third place in a state competition for web design with Future Business Leaders of America. This gave me an unforgettable opportunity to compete at a national level in Chicago. Now, on behalf of all of the recipients, I want to thank T-Mobile for sponsoring this category. I also want to thank my parents for all of their support and generosity throughout the years. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you. Once again, guys, a huge congratulations to all of our recipients and another big thank you to the sponsors that made this celebration possible. Students, you should feel proud of your accomplishments. You are now officially part of HHF's leadership cycle and through the law program, you can help us change our country and the world. So keep up with everything happening in the Hispanic Heritage Foundation by following us on social media and visiting www.hispanicheritage.org. Congratulations again to you, your families, teachers, and friends who share in your honor, and welcome to the Hispanic Heritage Foundation, familia. Hasta luego.